Hi, this is Chad with Novi Sign, and today we're going to show you how to set up a slideshow to display within your digital signage content. A slideshow can be used to rotate through different images, PowerPoint slides, videos, and other announcements that you'd upload to the sign. To get started, go to NoviSign.com. In the upper right, it says Login. This takes you to the online studio and dashboard. Here, you'll be able to edit, create, and update the screen's content that you're showing. To get started, we're going to select the Create From Template button. This takes us to our library of over 200 customizable templates that you can use as a starting point for your digital signage. If you're looking to display the screen in a portrait orientation, we do also have the library of portrait templates. So for this sake, I'm going to build something from scratch. Here we have a blank canvas. On the left, we have our widgets. And on the right, we have our properties. To add a slideshow on the left, I'm going to put my mouse over the widgets. The widget is an item or media component that you can add to your signage. So I select the drag. I selected the widget slideshow, dragged and dropped it onto the canvas. Once it's inserted, you can adjust it to fit the size you'd like. So for right now, we'll just do the middle, predominantly 75% uh, of the screen with the slideshow. On the right, the properties. You can add images, videos, and text. If I select the image icon, here I can upload my files whether it be PowerPoint slides, JPEGs, you can upload all of your media right off your computer. For this sake, we will go from a slide, a series of slides that I've already uploaded. So I'm simply checking them off and hitting insert. On the right, you notice the slides populate. If you want to adjust the play sequence, simply select one and hit the arrow up or down and so on. On the right, it says 10. That represents seconds. So I can set it to play for three seconds. And when I hit the preview button, you'll notice the slide play for three seconds and go to the next one. Very simple, easy to set up. Now keep in mind, a lot of people like to do full screen. So I can also readjust the size so it's full screen. Now, as far as the background, this is set for a simple white color. If I wanted to change that, simply select on the, the white canvas. On the right, it says Appearance, Fill. So if I select Fill, I can change the color. If I have a specific color code, I can copy and paste that here. If you're wanting to add an image, that's easy as well. It's an image for your backdrop, I mean. So I'm going to select the web image, drag that over and drag that over, make it go full screen. On the right, it says add image from, select on splash. This is a very cool, useful tool that enables you to search and browse select from over 20,000 different royalty-free images that you can um, choose from and insert into your signage. So for right now, I'll just do um, texture. Notice we have a nice library available that you can choose from. For right now, I'll select something simple here. Hit insert. Now on the top, it says send to back. So now we've got our slideshow sitting on top of it. So that creates a very nice visual layer, eye catchy, professional, and clean. Now, aside from just doing the slideshow, you could also add other pieces of media, tax announcements alongside the slideshow playing simultaneously. To do so, you simply select your widget and drag it onto the screen. As far as widgets, you can add text, images, videos, scrolling tickers, RSS feeds, YouTube, Ustream, weather, clock, countdown, shape, a web page, FTP site, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, a virtual queue, you can incorporate Yammer, so if you're Using Yammer for internal communications, you can display a specific messaging board and also M3 light feeds. Right now, we'll start with something simple, RSS feed. 
So I simply selected the RSS feed and dragged it onto the screen. I'm sizing it to be on the bottom scrolling. Now on the right are the properties. So if you hit URL, that's basically the source of where the news feed is coming from. We have over a dozen options you can choose from, some being Al Jazeera, BBC US Canada, BBC World, CNBC, CNN, CNN World Business. We have a full library of ESPNs, cricket, MLB, NBA, NFL. Uh, we also have uh, NBC Meet the Press, New York Times, Reuters Entertainment, Reuters Health, which is great for medical clinics, uh, Reuters Sports, Top News. So for right now, I'll just do, let's say, ESPN Top News. Then we have ticker, so that's in reference to the little feed. And I'm going to first change the direction so it scrolls left. And then I'm going to make it scroll fast, so I'm going to put it up to 20. If you want to preview it, hit play, and you'll notice it playing on the bottom. Now it's kind of hard to read, so you can also adjust the color. So we've got title format. I'm going to put that to say white. There we go. And then the subtext. Again, change that to white. And notice you can also adjust the size, font, everything. So you have full control and flexibility of your feed and the layout of your feed, which is great. Then I'm going to give it a backdrop color behind the text. So we're going to put that as, let's say, black. We can also give it some opacity so it keeps it some shine, shine through. There we go. Let me scroll down to the bottom. Very nice. Now let's say, for example, I wanted to add weather. Same thing, click on the little weather icon, drag that over, and the weather populates here. So I can change the location by simply selecting the location, type in my destination, so here, Chicago, change it to Fahrenheit. Again, you can change the font, so if you want that white, black, whatever, you have full options. Again, this is customizable as well. So you can get font size, style, color, exactly to your needs. If I don't want the conditions, simply uncheck those. And then I'm going to adjust the box here. So as you notice, it's very simple, drag and drop. Last thing that I'm gonna add is let's say a scrolling, uh, like a text um, ticker. Left is the T, I'm gonna size that. No. on the right of the properties, plus, I can type in company news, meeting today at 3 p.m. There we go. Do HR training, and safety. One-on-one -on -one meeting. Go and again, I can adjust the speed of that ticker. I can also change the text color, so it's just white. Okay, so it literally takes seconds to customize everything and really give it the look and feel that you want. Very, very intuitive. There we go. Changing the backdrop of that news the ticker here preview and we've got here the news we have the company events scrolling slideshow on the left and it looks like that's kind of going too fast so I'm going to slow that down and also hit play here to preview it so as you can see really really easy and you can build something to make it look and behave exactly what you need to do um, another example would be say YouTube I can drag YouTube over drag that change the YouTube video very easy as well. Simply copy and paste your YouTube video link here. And overall, as you can tell, to get started, straightforward, and you upload your media, drag in your slideshow, set it to play duration, and you're set. If you'd like to give it a try yourself, you can. It's a free 30-day trial on our website, so nodesign.com. And no credit card is needed. Give it a try. If you'd like to learn more, see a live demo, or just overall get more information, feel free to send us an email, info at Thank you.